Welcome to the Perlo Podcast. We talk construction, its people, its challenges, its opportunities. In construction, the only constant is change. And so, you know, maybe your access plan at the beginning of the school year works well, but as you're, you know, working through site work, you have to remove, you know, fence or whatever. And now all of a sudden you got a spot for a runner to sneak through and get out, right? <laughs> so you got to like make sure that, you know, you're constantly communicating with, um, you know, the users of the facility and letting them know what your plan is. You know, I r remember we were doing an addition a few summers ago and it was, it was not during summer, it was during spring, it was occupied site and just all the different, you know, activities that, you know, we try and communicate through and, and, and set the expectation of like, hey, this is what we're going to be doing and this is the potential noise, you know, impacts or this is, you know, the visual impact that could distract your outdoor learning class that's right across the area. And, you know, John, I remember you working with the principal all the time to try and, you know, we, I think we moved concrete pours because there was a field day or a recital or something and there was a noise component to it. And just, you know, I think that constant effort of, you know, realizing that, you know, we have a job to done and job to do and we're very task oriented people but at the same time recognizing that you know that doesn't give us full access to maybe do everything that we'd want to do because it is an educational environment and we have to be aware of what's going on yeah no matter what the kids come first yeah, yeah. reminds me of a story i don't know if i'm telling too many stories but uh at that school that we're talking about, we they had a fire drill just like all the other occupied schools. And usually, you know, you're like, oh, fire fire alarm's going off. What do we, you know, what's going on? Like we must have hit something or broke something, you know. But <laughs> the kids are doing a fire drill. So inside the classrooms, this school had exterior doors that went out. So we put snow fence on the door and put caution tape up. And I went around and told, trained each teacher, like, we can't use these doors for exit. Your fire route is this. We made new fire routes. School helped us out, and they're all supposed to exit that way. Well, we had one teacher that was like, no, and the fire alarm went off, the drill, and she took the soft barricade we had out and went right through the door right down to our construction site and walked the kids oh straight across over to the fence and then walked down the fence and the kids are walking through mud and it's not safe. We've got guys out there with equipment. Everybody just stopped because we've talked about this in our safety meetings and everybody knew what to do. They just kind of stopped and like watched the kids walk by. And so just interesting that, you know, even after you tell them and you talk to them about, hey, this is not the safest way to go, just they just kind of do their own thing every once in a while. So you got to be prepared for anything to happen in a school setting, especially an occupied school setting, you know? Uh, yeah, I thought that was, I was pretty frustrated that day, but now looking back on it, I was kind of like, oh, all right. Visit us online at perlo.biz, subscribe to catch our future episodes, and join us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube to discuss all things construction. And finally, Work hard, do what's right, and make it fun. Mm -hmm.